John Dalton and his contributions to science. John Dalton, a meteorologist, physicist, and chemist, was born into a Quaker family in England in 1766. He attended John Fletcher's Quaker Grammar School in Kendall, England until 1793. After 10 years of teaching, and starting as a 12-year-old teacher at that, he moved to Manchester, England, and involved himself in laboratories. He continued to teach and tutor in math and natural philosophy as well. He was also a public lecturer. His first publicly known paper was on color blindness. He wrote many papers about meteorology and lectured on them publicly. He recorded the weather from 1787 until his death in 1844. His first book was Meteorological Observations. Because of this book and much research in looking with what makes water water, he concluded that evaporated water is in the air as an independent gas. This started the whole research, which eventually led to his atomic theory. Through meteorology, Dalton began looking into the atom. He explained that matter is made of atoms and concluded all his ideas through the atomic theory in 1803. By drawing out what atoms look like and combining it with compounds and atomic weight, he was able to come up with H and O, or hydrogen and oxygen. This resulted in the takeoff of chemistry and elements and opening up a new world of science. Dalton was a Quaker, so he lived a very humble and quiet life, but he was quite popular after his death because of his contributions to science. The Atomic Theory the atomic theory was Dalton's biggest contribution. It stated that all matter is composed of very small particles, and that all atoms of an element are identical, but different from atoms of another element. This was followed by stating that atoms of different elements could combine in simple whole number ratios. However, matter cannot be destroyed, created, or subdivided, but a reaction atoms could separate, combine, or rearrange. The atomic theory gave future chemists the ability to see what would happen when they applied these statements to elements and what compounds and reactions they would receive. The name of the model that Dalton used was the indivisible atom. This name stood for the general meaning of the atomic theory. Although Dalton was correct in finding and giving chemists a base unit, he was incorrect in saying there were subatomic particles. But when Dalton made this big discovery of the atom and its meaning, he also created the fundamental laws of chemistry. The fundamental laws. These laws were the conservation of mass, which states that matter cannot be created or destroyed. The law of definite proportions, which states that compounds combine in definite ratios. And the law of multiple proportions, which states that if two elements combine in more than one way, they will do so in specific ratios. The atomic theory relates back and explains these three laws. By the discoveries Dalton made and the contribution to both meteorology and chemistry, he is widely known to be considered a quite popular scientist, especially after his death, for he not only had a statue made, but 40,000 people were at his funeral progression. A 
little more on color blindness. John Dalton discovered what causes color blindness because he had it himself. He states in one of his more known papers how he sees the color yellow. That part of the image which other call red appears to me little more than a shade or defect of light. After that, the orange, yellow, and green seem one color which descends pretty uniformly from an intense to a rare yellow, making what I should call different shades of yellow. And this is from his essay that he wrote, Extraordinary Facts Relating to the Vision of Colors. Quotes from Dalton. Berzelius' symbols are horrifying. A young student in chemistry might as soon learn Hebrew as make himself acquainted with them. The cause of rain is now, I consider, no longer an object of doubt. We might as well attempt to introduce a new planet into the solar system, or to annually one already in existence, as to create or destroy a particle of hydrogen. <laughs>